So welcome, Elizabeth Starrett. It's my pleasure to be with you here today to find out more and learn about the Insight Approach. Um, uh, you are the very esteemed chair of our Intergenerational Mediation Committee and the lead trainer in Intergeneral Mediation, which is based on the um, approach of Insight Mediation. And I really uh, am just glad to be here with you and to share this time. Thank you. Thank you, Marianne. Um, it's, it's a pleasure to be here and to be sharing this time with you, um, especially since our, um, our talk, our conversation is going to be posted on the Insight Collaborations International website. And, you know, when I, as I think of it, Marianne, you've been um, involved from the get-go in terms of um, our OAFM, the Ontario Association for Family Mediation's adoption of, of the Insight approach. Uh, and I think way, way back to uh, when I joined the board in, in 2015, and then uh, as a result of the vision of our, of our then president, Jennifer Suzor, uh, we started training um, elder mediators, as we called them then, intergenerational mediators. And I, at the time, I, I did bring insight, the insight approach into the training that was, was given. And um, everyone, uh, if you recall, we had a large cohort for that first group in, uh, in 2016. And uh, as I remember, the uh, the participants were very well experienced uh, mediators and so it was so gratifying to see them so interested in in the insight approach uh, and and so given that chance i think oafm really uh, just was off to the races in terms of uh, espousing the insight approach and um, offering an opportunity to to the board um, to, to be immersed in, in the inside approach. Very nice. And, and, you know, once we had adopted this, the inside approach at OFM, how did we sort of integrate or weave it into um, our training and our, even our board meetings? Can you tell me more a little bit about that? There were, there were so many, so many um, things that happened and kind of came together uh, to and for our OFM to endorse the insight approach, uh, and I think of um, one one opportunity was um, when um, we're doing a week of training in Ottawa in the summer of 2016, and at that time um, I invited Cheryl, Dr. Cheryl Picard, um, the uh, co-developer of the insight mediation approach, uh, along with Ken Melchin, she and Ken. Um, wrote the book um, Resolving Conflict Through uh, Insight. And um, so Cheryl joined us on the on the internet. And if I recall correctly, we lost the internet. Everybody was just poised to hear, <laughs> to hear Cheryl talk and we lost the internet connection. And so Marianne, I think you, you adopted this process. You had Cheryl in a cup. <laughs> you had a cup and, um, and so Cheryl was on her iPhone and we were listening and mm -hmm. um, nevertheless people were very interested in, in what Cheryl Picard was uh, explaining to us about about insight so some some funny things at the beginning and then then we just kept going um, in 2016 we had our um, annual conference at the Weston in Ottawa and so once again I, I contacted Cheryl and she was going to be in Ottawa and so um, along with Jennifer, Suzor, and yourself, uh, in, in terms of developing the conference, uh, we invited Cheryl to be um, a panelist talking about insight. And so once again, we had uh, great interest in what Cheryl was saying. And um, many people at the time uh, um, purchased Cheryl's books. And, um, and so we, we gradually adopted Cheryl's second book, uh, published in 2016, Practicing Insight Mediation, as one of our um, core resources mm -hmm. for the training that we were doing. So, so that was, a, again, an exciting way to bring insight in, and people were reading, were reading, and they were practicing, and they just, it seemed to me, I'm a little biased perhaps, they couldn't get enough. They couldn't get enough of right. insight. Yeah. 
And, and can you tell us a little bit um, more about how this trickled down into our board culture and how that affected our board meetings and how we well, interact with each other? That, yes, that, that was really, uh, again, very, very interesting, I think, because uh, what we tried to do as a board, um, as you know, directors on the board were asked to think about the conversations that we were having, how we were approaching each other uh, during our board meetings. And, and so we, we tracked, you know, our communication style. We tracked our questions. We really tried to implement uh, at the board level a way of incorporating insight into what we were doing. And I think, I mean, we're still doing that, yeah. um, but I think that it, it was um, successful. I think it remains something that we're um, aiming for and continuing to um, to adopt as as an entire board and Absolutely. so that's exciting and then then even more exciting um, in um, um, in 2017 uh, we were doing more work on this and then in um, of course Cheryl had the idea of creating uh, a summit um, and so we uh, as a board um, we're very curious about what what would this be like? What would what would happen with this? And so, mm -hmm. in two thousand and eighteen, we invited Cheryl to be Cheryl Picard to be the guest speaker at our annual conference. So she was the keynote speaker for two days. Nice. And thus, I remember. Uh, you probably know better than I do the number of people who were present. I just remember a big room with yes. lots of people in it in Toronto. In in person. In a person, events, exactly. Yeah, about one hundred and fifty, I believe. Yeah, and um, so Cheryl had uh, the opportunity to introduce our membership uh, at large to, to Insight. Uh, and then because we were using it so directly with our elder mediation or intergenerational mediation, uh, Cheryl stayed for the second day and conducted a workshop for the, um, the people who were becoming accredited as intergenerational mediators. Nice. And so it was, um, it was a wonderful opportunity to infuse the insight approach, uh, not only to, to board members, but to, to members at large, of, of OFM members at large. So very successful. And we just kept, we were on a roll, it seemed, you know, we just yes. kept going. Um, and then of course, um, in November of that year of 2018, mm -hmm. given the board's continued interest, in expanding our knowledge of insight, I moved a motion that we as an organization adopt um, insight mediation as the fourth pillar of mediation and essentially as our modus operandi as an organization. And that it passed unanimously. Yes, it was quite, yeah. um, quite the thing. It, it really was, Elizabeth. I think that it's uh, it just a, a, a nod to you and everything you've brought to us at OAFM. And we're so grateful that you shared this approach. I think it is um, uh, work transforming and also life changing. Um, wh where are we now in the, the process at OFM? Well, that, I mean, that's a great question too. Where are we now? We've, um, we have been uh, at the leading edge, I think, of offering our, uh, our mediators, our accredited elder mediators, uh, intergenerational mediators, um, our accredited family mediators and our accredited uh, child protection mediators with another way uh, to mediate. And, and as a result of that, um, that interest, our president, uh, let me have a second, our second president who um, uh, advocated on behalf of Insight, Kathy Dunn, um, endorsed uh, our sponsorship of the first inaugural Insight Summit held at the University of Prince Edward Island in, um, 18, in, 18, in 20, 20, uh, 2019. <laughs> right. um, yeah. And um, it, it, OFM was there front and center. And mm -hmm. I think that uh, that endorsement of insight um, really filtered out or, you know, uh, there was an outreach then uh, to our members to become more and more involved in, in insight. And so um, as a result, then we, we switched over uh, in, in 2020 to um, our um, monthly meetings that, that were at one point called 
uh, at that time it was Elder Mediation, Elder Connect. Um, and I believe you had the great idea of saying, why don't we um, rename this, um, this monthly meeting and call it Insight Matters? And so this was then an opportunity for, for everyone because OEFM is the gold standard of accrediting mediators in the province from child protection to separation divorce and then to intergenerational mediators. Mm -hmm. Here was an opportunity to bring people together to ask more questions about insight. So, so we've been doing that now since uh, January of 2020. Uh, and um, again, the lead up to the 2020 second uh, Insight uh, Summit. And once again, OAFM was a sponsor uh, and um, we were very much involved. It was virtual at that point because of the pandemic. And uh, we, we had an opportunity to, um, to be sponsors and to present uh, at, uh, at the summit and to keep things, keep things moving in terms of you know, where our membership was going. And um, then we, uh, Kathy Dunn's presidency, uh, led to Vicky Visca's presidency. And Vicky uh, heartily endorses uh, the Insight approach. And um, Vicky and Louise, Louise Vandenbosch, who were training in child protection, uh, invited me to present uh, on Insight in the last segment of the child protection mediation. So gradually we're expanding the frontier and we're, uh, we're adding more and more of uh, the insight approach to the, the accreditations that uh, are offered in, um, at the OAFM. Beautiful. So, so what's next? What, what can we expect? Well, what, what's next is I think um, uh, under Vicki Visca's presidency, again, retaining that sponsorship of uh, the insight summit um, in fact, it, it um, just took place over September 30th and October 1st. Um, OEFM was present, many, many members uh, attended. And uh, we, we see that, um, in fact, that we have continued with our Insight Matters um, uh, approach. Uh, and I just want to hark back to, was one program that we, um, we had um, Dr. Megan Price uh, offered um, an, an interview. There was an interview that that I think, uh, Marianne, you picked up on uh, WERA, right. and um, we we used that. Lynn Borton was the interviewer, uh, asking um, Megan Price about curiosity. Right. What role does curiosity play in helping people to learn about how they are operating within a conflict, within the parameters of conflict? to become curious and to open some space for learning. So we're, we're continuing along that line of um, presentations for our membership. And um, we're, we're looking forward to more training. We have training coming up in um, um, intergenerational mediation in, uh, in January. We've also been involved in launching a terrific pilot project um, we called it the Elder Mediation Pilot Project. Mm -hmm. And in September, on September 24th, at our annual conference, um, I believe that you announced, uh, that you and Vicki uh, announced the change in name of Elder Mediation to Intergenerational Mediation out of respect for uh, our Indigenous brothers and sisters and um, just a desire to, to open up uh, and offer uh, more of an opportunity to learn about, uh, about um, insight. And uh, the program is, I think, very successful. Uh, we have many files open now and OAFM is offering 10 hours of free mediation services with accredited uh, intergenerational mediators free of charge. And um, so our, our pilot project will run until the, uh, the end of March, uh, 2021. And then we're hoping, we're hoping that things will, will continue. We, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll wait and see, we'll wait and we'll see. We'll wait and see, a work in progress. Exactly, exactly. And um, OEFM as well had sponsored a two-day Insight course. 
um, in, um, in August of last summer. And so we're continuing along that pathway uh, with uh, Family Mediation Training Canada under Jennifer Souza's auspices offering a three-day um, advanced mediation, family mediation course infused with insight, the insight yeah. approach. So there's just, there's so much happening uh, yes. with, with insight and we're just so pleased to be connected with um, Insight Collaborations International and to, to have this opportunity to be spotlighted on the, on the website. And, you know, I would say, unless, unless there are any burning questions that you can think of, I, I, would, I would close by saying that at OAFM, we really believe that, you know, the key to a desirable change in our society, in our province, in Canada as a whole, will be the ability of um, mediators to provide leadership in the exploration of learning, transformative change through meaningful insight imbued conversations, one family at a time. And OAFM, that's what we want to do. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. My Take pleasure. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Marianne. Thank you.